It's a trick that I learnt uh, about four years ago and I really nearly did have uh, a serious accident doing it, so I stopped doing it and then uh, got back in sort of uh, the groove and uh, practising it again and going for it. And my record breath hold is three minutes and two seconds, which is one of the reasons I got into doing the trick, because uh, I like free diving and I like juggling fire and juggling is what I do for a living. A uh, bit of a wacky thing to do, and if I manage to get through this round, the next trick I'm doing in the next round, uh, I balance a candle on my nose, and then I juggle with three fire clubs, and uh, get the power of the audience's mind to make the candle light. So uh, that's quite an impressive trick as well. What happened with Britain's Got Talent was uh, I was actually doing a job with Take That, <laughs> as you do, and uh, uh, like uh, I was on this job, and my wife sent the application forms off for Britain's Got Talent for us both, and didn't tell me. And then uh, we got a letter back through from them, and she said, uh, "Right, let's have a look." And she said, "Right, I've got some post for you." So I came downstairs and opened the post, and it was the thing saying I got through into the first round. So that was a nice surprise that she put my name forward. Well. I really like making people happy and uh, juggling and stuff like magic is a really great way of doing that. And my dad always, my real name is Merlin, and my dad said to me, uh, he always used to say he's dead now, but he always used to say, you've got to go with the magic, it's all about the magic. There's no famous jugglers, which is true, because there aren't any famous jugglers unless you're a juggler. But uh, everyone knows a famous magician. But for me, the juggling's where it's at, really, because you've got to practice and uh, you can't cheat. You know, it isn't a sham, it's actually a real trick. And this trick that I'm performing for Britain's Got Talent it is a real trick. You know, they're at the water. There isn't like a fake layer of glass between me and the water. I'm actually fully inside the helmet of water and I'm really juggling the fire and I really do escape from the chains. There's no trick props involved. So uh, and I, I kind of try and make all my tricks like that because that's for me is what it's all about. I mean, uh, entertaining, you know, wacky, zany stuff that is for real though. Well, I have balanced a 20 foot ladder on my chin before and um, obviously, you know, you can't practice that inside a house. So pretty much dependent on what the idea is as to where I go. Recently, I was um, being a human scarecrow and uh, so I was doing this being a scarecrow on stilts. It's thanks to people like Tiki and um, who, who have sponsored me to do all my crazy stunts. I had an ironing board I was going to surf across the Bristol Channel on and they've always sort of uh, given me wetsuits and helped me out along the way. So uh, yeah, I'll do some pretty crazy stuff. Stay tuned and you'll see more. <laughs> well, I'm lucky because all my friends I've... I'm from Barnstable originally and I've got quite a lot of really good friends and they all just are so helpful, you know. My friends, they're always there for me. If I fail up and go, right, I've got this thing I've got to do and it's ridiculous. They're like, OK, no problem, we'll sort it out. And they make it happen for me, you know. And uh, especially my wife, Sarah, you know, they're just always really great for me. And my kids are brilliant, you know. They're just always like, oh, daddy's just juggling fire underwater in the garden again, you know. It's just so blasé. But, yeah, I've got some really good friends and they've always been really great for me. So thanks a lot to all my mates out there and people who are supporting me. Keep it real.